Hey girl, what's up with you? Wait a minute, is this the right number? It's um the loser line. Come on, just call me back. If you haven't heard the loser line before, it works like this. Let's say someone approaches you while you're praying in church oh. and uses this charming pickup line on you. I've been reading the book of numbers lately, and I realized I don't have yours. Oh, my God. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> no, that didn't work for you? That's the pastor, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Yeah. <laughs> Whatever you do, resist the urge to throw holy water in his face. Oh. Instead, tell him to meet you in the church confessional for some special private time. <laughs> And then that's when you give him the number to the loser line. So hopefully he leaves you an awkward voicemail that we can play on the air. Voicemails like this one. Next message. Hey, Candy King. I mean, Chrissy, how you doing? <laughs> hey, I just wanted to let you know, uh, I think you're beautiful. And truthfully, I don't tell this to all the women, but I think you can be my contender only. So uh, give me a call. You know, nothing big, nothing small, but I do things big. So I see you when I see you, girl. What? Next message. I didn't understand. What, what did... was he going to be? The contender rope? Contender Roni? A, a tender Roni? <laughs> People say tender from like tender. a Michael Jackson reference, right? Okay, so he's old. Yeah. So that's what we're getting at? And so now he's, she's a contender and then when in he... his life. Contender I get it. I, when I heard contender I thought of like wrestling. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Like, Maybe. come on, contender <laughs> This week when we step into the bedroom, I'm going to show you a hell of a good time. <laughs> I don't do anything small. I do it big. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta like it. I mean, if a guy came into the bedroom wearing a cape, I'd be down. Yeah. <laughs> You're right, Jeff. Next message. Hey, um, it's <laughs> Oh my god, I can't believe we did what we did. Um, I'm just so used to seeing you in like TV and movies and whatever. So I just like couldn't mm-hmm. believe that I was like hanging out with you. Uh-oh. I don't know. Like in fact, like you like came in and you were like so cool, and I was like, oh my god. And then you, like, wanted to hang out with me. It was, like, so cool. My mom always said that you were gay, but after, you know, went to the bathroom, you know, <laughs> definitely not. So, um, <laughs> yeah, whatever. Um, if you wanted to, like, hang again, um, I'll pay for the drinks again, like, if, if you want me to. <laughs> um, <laughs> I feel like so, like, such a stupid fangirl, but <laughs> I'm, I'm really cool. Um, so yeah. Next message. Oh, oh my wow. god. Really you guys, Cringy. there is no way she hooked up with a famous guy. She was oh. wasted and thought some guy was famous yeah. and he really wasn't. Yeah. But then he oh. still gave her the loser line. Totally. <laughs> I mean, no famous dude makes a girl pay for her own drinks and his. Well, there's some pretty shady famous people out there, though. So you're thinking it's Post Malone. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> she got all the Bud Lights. Yeah. <laughs> Next message. Hey, Stacey, this is Um, We met the other night, and uh, I gave you my card there and everything, and you gave me your number back. Um, I've been trying to send those pictures I talked to you about with me on the tractor with my shirt off and all that <laughs> for that Christian magazine shoot that you were talking about because I really want to show you, like, I'm seriously a model. I'm not lying. Even the stuff I did on that tractor was super professional. They used, like, wires to flip me upside down for the handstand. And they wouldn't even let me wear underwear. It was, like, strictly against the rules. <laughs> I guess because the jeans are really tight and they were worried about, like, friction and stuff like that. Um, but, yeah, it was all super professional. And if you like those, then I can give you the stuff with the livestock that we did right after that. Me, like, oh! on the back of the bull. Some of me running away from, like, a chicken. Then I'm chasing the chicken. Super classy. Very Christian. Like, you know, there's a few where I'm down by the farm animals, like, praying with my hands. Up in the sky and stuff like that. Um, it would be perfect for what you were talking about. Next message. Okay. What? I got to see these photos. Yeah. Anybody I, else? Exactly. I don't know what Christian magazine that was for, but I need to subscribe yeah. immediately. Yeah. It's only a naked guy running from a chicken. And then, like, Saul. Yeah. <laughs> like a quote. Jeff's the first Jewish guy that, <laughs> that subscribes <laughs> to the Christian magazine. I'm converting right now. Yeah, and it's only because of that tractor hand yeah. stand. <laughs> Next message. Hi, Justin. Uh... I really enjoyed talking with you. This is Jessica, by the way. And, uh, you know, reminiscing over our childhood and the Looney Tunes, that was really fun. And, oh, you you know who's here with me right now? This person wants to talk to you. Maybe you know him. It's me. 
Marvin Martian. Hi, Justin, how are you? You seem like a highly intelligent being and a highly sexual one as well. Maybe you'll kiss her on the mouth. Ew, gross. That's disgusting. Well, I should send it back to her. Oh, I'm so sorry about that. Uh, he sometimes takes over my calls. But um, I hope I don't regret doing this. It was fun. Next message. Oh, my God. Oh, wow. It didn't even change. I her is her. You guys, I feel yeah. like she's my spirit animal. Yeah. I do. Martin the Martian would be like, hmm, hello, welcome, Earthling. Like, something like that. Mm-hmm. She did not even change. Hey, hey, hey. She did in spirit, yeah. okay? <laughs> Maybe not in voice. Hey, I appreciate the effort. And yeah. if you're going to go with a sexy cartoon, Marvin the Martian is yeah. always a good call. <laughs> yeah, nothing hotter than that. That's exactly how I remember Marvin the Martian. Yeah. Yeah. I think she nailed it. You, you do you, girl. Remember, you can listen to Loser Line regularly at this time every week.